When it's time to get high Go to Goliath Growers Garden It's time to get high Go to Goliath Growers Garden What's up everybody, Goliath Grower here. Got a little update for ya. Got a mail call from Mars Hydro. You see it right here. This is the Mars Hydro SP 6500. And if you are looking to replace your high pressure sodium lights, or your ceramic metal halide lights. This is the light to get. You know them bulbs are old school and out of date. This thing is bad. We're gonna do an unboxing, a little review, and a little power consumption test. So uh, stick with us and I'll let you know why you need to switch to LEDs. Man, this thing's bad. Oh, let me turn it up. There we go. Got your ratchet ropes, your hanging gear, and your dimmer daisy chain. Got a big driver by Inventronics. So this driver isn't even attached to the light yet. Alright, so here it is. Here it is right here. This is the new Mars Hydro SP6500. It's a new uh, industrial or commercial grow light. It's got the, all the Samsung 301B 
LEDs and the Osram LEDs for a mixed spectrum. It's got the UV and infrared LEDs also. This light is good for a 3x5 footprint. And you got to remember, LEDs last about 50,000 hours. You know, if there are no issues and they're well taken care of. And that's over, that's over 10 years on a 12 on, 12 off light cycle. It's got a big driver in the dimmer. So we're going to hang this thing up. And uh, this light should be good for like greenhouses, uh, supplemental lighting, warehouse grows, or uh, even for the indoor craft growers like me that grow big tall plants. So it's supposed to be very intense and bright. Probably should be hung. Very cool light. This thing is very bright. And we are going to put it under a light consumption test, power consumption. So let's do that real quick. Alright, we've got our SP6500 plugged into the kilowatt reader. There's the plug. right to it and we are going to turn it on right there we're at 517 watts and 4.66 amps. So this is a pretty heavy duty light, pretty intense. These LEDs, these LEDs are packed in here, jam packed, very dense. This thing is bright, I can hardly film it. I can't look at it really. So I, I kinda can't wait to see what it looks like on the video. But this light is badass. So this is the SP6500. We got two SP3000s over there. Don't worry about those right now. Uh, if you want to see a video on those, I have a video on those also. And of the SP250. So check them all out. Find out which one suits your garden best. And go for it, man. Because these are great lights and they're going to last a long time. And you could even look it up. Eight, uh, LEDs are replacing the HPS, the CMF, uh, ceramic metal halide, the CFL. It's replacing all the bulbs. And if you don't believe me, who makes good bulbs? Who makes good P HPS bulbs? Mm. Why don't you go and look and see if they're making LEDs? 
So, there you have it, folks. It's the SP6500. Get it. It's got the dimmer. Oh, I don't even know if this thing's all the way up. Yeah, it was basically all the way up. I can dim it down. Let's see how far it'll dim down to. Dims down to a half an amp. And 65 watts. So let's turn it all the way back up. It's under 650 still at 637 and the max amp would be 5.82 so there we go all right peace see you on the next one When it's time to get high, go to Goliath Growers Garden.